Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I actually wanted to go through um, my Disney movie collection. Um, if there was a time where any of you wanted to make fun of me, this video was the time. <laughs> I can't even tell you how many movies I have beside me right now because I didn't know I owned this many Disney movies. I'm gonna go through and pick out, let's say, my top 10 favorite out of all the ones that I have. Um, but let's just kind of go through, and uh, hopefully this video is not an hour long, because <laughs> there is a lot of movies here, let me tell you. But let's start. So the first one I have here is Atlantis, which, great movie, this has both the Lost Empire, and Milo, Milo's Return? I forgot how to pronounce his name. But I'll, uh, I'll read like a snippet of each of them. Set your course for adventures as Milo Thatcher and his fearless crew dive into the, mis the mysteries of the sea. The group's underwater expedition brings them face to face with gigantic sea monsters spectacular spirits, and the mythical land of Atlantis, while they discover the power of friendship and teamwork. Loaded with thrills and stunning visual effects, this sensational two-movie collection invites you on... Oh my goodness. I have the hiccups. Invites you on an unforgettable voyage you'll want to experience over and over again. So Atlantis was one of my favorite movies as a kid. Um, I'm sure I had, like, like the underrated favorite movie, you know? Like, not, I feel like not many people knew about Atlantis. Um, but I actually watched it recently again, and there's one scene of the submarine going underwater and actually, like, going forward the first time underwater. And it's like the most gorgeous scene, like illustrated that I've I think I've ever seen really. All right, so that's Atlantis. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because I know there's a lot of movies here. By the way, I'm going in no like order. These are it's just random. I have them all stacked here. There's literally five stacks of movies beside me. <laughs> the second one also um, random in the sense that there's live action mixed in as well, not just the animated movies. The second one is Into the Woods, which is the musical with Meryl Streep, Emily Blunt, James Corden, Anna Kendrick, Chris Pine, and Johnny Depp. So this one is iconic characters such as Cinderella, Little Red Riding Hood, Jack and the Beanstalk, and Rapunzel find their fates intertwined with a humble baker and his wife, whose longing to have a child sends them on a quest to reverse a witch's curse. With an all-star cast and an ever-before-seen song, this spellbinding adventure is everything you could ever wish for. Now, this movie, in my opinion, is not the greatest, but um, I do like how all of the fairy tales are um, very original to their fairy tale. So, like the if you don't know, um, Cinderella's uh, stepsisters get like their faces pecked out by birds and stuff like that. Really weird fairy tales, but uh, they kind of keep true to the originals, which I like. This is not going into the maybe pile. It is a good movie, but meh, you know. <laughs> also, I'm gonna add that most of these movies I haven't even seen. Like this one. <laughs> I literally haven't seen Bambi. Isn't that horrible? Like, who am I? Oh, this one has like the, the lenticular front. It's 
looks like a zipper. Changing adventure, Bambi sets off with his best friend Thumper and Flower to explore the wonders and challenges of the woods and fulfill his destiny as Prince of the Forest. I didn't even know that. Full of humor and heart, and featuring an awe inspiring animation, Bambi remains a family favorite now on digital HD with new behind the scenes special features. What a snippet. I may have to watch this one like, you know, yesterday. I'm, I'm gonna say like, at least 50% of the movies I have here I haven't seen. I'm so bad. I just buy them because I'm a huge Disney fanboy and then I don't watch them. The next one I have is the live action Beauty and the Beast, which beautiful movie. This one doesn't have a snippet because it's just a steel book. But I have the animated one here somewhere. It should be the exact same snippet. I love the live action movies. The like, Cinderella one was amazing. Beauty and the Beast was amazing. Jungle Book was amazing. How many times can I say amazing? But this was a very good one as well. I think I'm only gonna put the animated ones in my favorites list. It's a good idea. All right, the next one is Bambi 2. And um, much like Bambi 1, I haven't seen this. <laughs> As Thumper, Owl, Flower, and Bambi's new friends come together to celebrate the power of friendship, the great prince is reunited with his spirited young son. In order to teach Bambi the ways of the forest, he must set aside his pride, and soon it becomes clear they have much to learn from each other about love and everlasting bonds of family. Interesting. I don't understand this one. Does Bambi have a son? You know what? We'll just have to watch, you know. We'll have to find out. Oh my, I forgot about this movie. Bug's Life. I loved this movie. Embark on an incredible journey with one little ant as he searches for a brave band of warriors to help him battle the bullying grasshoppers who threaten his home. When he stumbles upon a bumbling troop of circus bugs instead, their only hope for victory is the bond of friendship and the awesome power of imagination. I love A Bug's Life so much. I totally forgot about this movie. I like how all the snippets are something about bonds of friendship and family though. Which I guess good, good morals for kids and for 24 year olds. <laughs> Ooh. Alice in Wonderland. So, this movie, um, I didn't watch till I was about, I want to say like 16 or 17. And man, this movie is messed up. <laughs> Join Alice as she chases the white rabbit and journeys herself into a topsy-turvy world that gets curiouser and curiouser. As her fantastical adventures unfold, meet the Mad Hatter, March Hare, Tweedledee, and Tweedledum, the Cheshire Cat, the Queen of Hearts, 
and more unforgettable characters, all set against a backdrop of awe-inspiring splendor. This one is not about friendship. <laughs> So weird, but like it's still pretty good. But I think, I honestly think, I like the live action Alice movies more because they're not so crazy. <laughs> oh, would you look at this? A second copy of Bambi. I don't know, man. I'm sure we'll find lots of doubles. <laughs> Lady and the Tramp. See, I don't think I've seen this one either. L A D Y and the T R A M. This is the night to share a special Bella Notte with your family and introduce them to the film. Wait, what? This one doesn't even have a snippet. It just tells you to watch it with your family. <laughs> My friend has a dog that looks like Lady and they named her Lady. And it's adorable. I honestly probably have seen most of these when I was like a wee little baby. I don't know why that's a wee little baby. Um, but I just don't remember them. Like, I'm 80% sure I've seen Lady in the Tramp before. And then I have some like miscellaneous ones, like the shorts, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, and Fun and Fancy. These ones don't really have snippets either. Um, but Fun and Fancy Free is basically the story of Jack and the Beanstalk as Mickey and his friends. And, um... Ichabod, I don't really know what that one is. <laughs> I definitely have seen them though. I'm trying to remember when this came out. I bought it and watched it that day. Is another one of my favorites. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. I love Hercules. Taken from the gods as a newborn and adopted onto earth, Hercules is just an awkward pillar of strength trying to fit in. Relatable. <laughs> what he wants most is to impress his father Zeus. When Hercules discovers Hades' sinister plot to take over Mount Olympus, he goes from zero to hero, and with the help of his pals, Pegasus and Phil, discovers that the real strength comes from the heart. Hercules is such a good movie, and the songs are so good. Oh man. Like people that haven't seen Hercules. Go see Hercules. I'm gonna let you know right now, we haven't even finished um, one pile of movies yet, so... <laughs> Up, I think, was what really got me, like, into Disney. Like, when I was younger, I loved certain Disney movies, and I'd watch them all the time. But, like, for a recent Disney movie, Up is what got me back into Disney movies. Um, things that come out, like, what, was Wally before this? There was movies that came out before it, but I never really watched. And then I watched this one actually in class for a project. And, like, 
cried <laughs> throughout the whole movie. And then I started watching all of the Disney movies and fell in this like rabbit hole of Disney love. seen Finding Nemo, and if you haven't, what are you doing? <laughs> In the depths of the Great Barrier Reef, Marlin, an overprotective clownfish, embarks on a daring rescue mission when his beloved son Nemo gets scooped up by a diver with his unforgettable friend Dory by his side. Marlin encounters an ocean full of memorable comedic characters on his monumentous journey to find Nemo. Ellen DeGeneres being Dory was like the best idea anyone has ever had. This one is about um, five emotions, so anger, um, sadness, fear, is it envy, and happiness? Did I say happiness already? Oh, fear, anger, disgust, and sadness, and happiness. Um, all in this little girl's head, an 11 year old girl, and it's about like, what's going on in her head? basically with like her parents and like just growing up in general which is like kind of sad but also like kind of heartwarming also a very good movie okay i'm still not through the first pile so i'm gonna start speeding through these movies <laughs> we got frank and weenie which is a stop motion who lost his dog and brought him back to life. Honestly, Disney movies are so weird, but they're all so damn good. We got live action Oz, the great and powerful. And basically, it's a live action of The Wizard of Oz. I think it's Mila Kunis as the witch. I forget, to be honest. A Disney Pixar movie? That was a horrible Irish accent, by the way. <laughs> Brave. A story of Merida is kind of like sick of her mom telling her how to like be uh, she's gonna be the next queen um, so she feeds her this pastry that turns her into a bear and the whole story is her trying to turn her mom back into a human because if she doesn't she's permanently a bear and who wants their mom to be a bear really you know First Wreck It Ralph, which honestly I wasn't a huge fan of. The second one is really good. But the first Wreck It Ralph, I was like, it's okay. I found myself on my phone more than I did watching the movie. But I mean, it's not bad. The Robinsons, on the other hand, was a wonderful movie. I 
I love this movie. Basically, he, this boy goes into the future and helps this family in the future. Um, but it's like, <laughs> there's a lot of like random twists, but it's really good. He's like an inventor and he has to invent things in the future to help this family do, I don't know, overcome their obstacles. It's really good. I like it. I'm also not counting any of like the Marvel movies as Disney movies right now because I like all of those, but we're going to XD those. We got Monsters, Inc., the first one. I haven't actually seen the second one. What is it? Monsters University. We have the first live action Alice. huge gimmick nerd. If there's a gimmick out there, I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna get it. 3D was like beautiful. <laughs> and like now theaters have D-Box seats, the seats that move. If I'm going to the theater, you know I'm watching a D-Box movie. Alright, so first pile of movies is done. The next three piles are pretty short, so we've got the Live action Cinderella. With, uh, is it Lily Allen? Doesn't even say. <laughs> or Lily James, sorry. It actually doesn't say who's in this movie. on the cover. Oh, we have this one I also just watched um, pretty recently, like a year or two ago. Is it Dumbo? And this one is also pretty like messed up in the sense of a Disney movie. It's like about animal like it's like low-key about animal cruelty and stuff. So when I first got into um, purchasing Disney movies, um, when I became like a Disney fan, uh, I started buying some off of eBay because they have like the Disney vault where they only get re-released every, at the time it was five years uh, and Snow White was nowhere. So I bought it off eBay and it's one of those like Chinese like knockoffs and I didn't realize until I got it but it still works. But I thought it was really funny. Because it looks like so bootleg. <laughs> um, but I'm also part of like the Disney Movie Club. And basically they, they have movies on there that are specific to them. Like they don't sell them anywhere else other than there. Uh, like they have Aladdin 2 and 3 on there. I think you maybe buy it on Amazon um, from people. Who have purchased it off there and are selling it but uh they have like amazing deals on that website so i had to join we have the two movie collection of the hunchback of notre dame
timeless masterpiece now more radiant than ever. Mulan 1 and 2. Which, honestly, the Mulan movies are so good. Even the second one. Which, usually for Disney movies, at least back in the day, was odd for a second one to be good. But Mulan 1 and 2 are amazing. We have Peter Pan. This is actually a storybook version, so the movie is right there. But then the actual, like, story of Peter Pan is there. We've got the animated Jumbo book. Look for the bare necessities. We have the live action Maleficent, which is also an amazing movie. With Angelina Jolie. Oh. Another one of my favorites, Big Hero 6. I adore this movie. I've seen it so many times, which, like, is very rare for me to watch a movie more than once. I think the, recently, the only movies I've seen more than once were, um, La La Land. I've seen that, like, 25 times. Um, La La Land. Love, Simon. Um, call Me By Your Name, and there's one more. There's one more. What's the other movie? Oh my gosh. I can't think of what the other one is. But it's like very rare for me to watch multiple, I mean a, mov a single movie multiple times. We've got Pinocchio. I'm not really counting this one, but we have a short films collection. One of my favorite movies, period, ever, Aladdin. This is definitely going in the favorite pile, 100%. Snow White, the signature edition, with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dwarves. Can I name them all? Probably not. <laughs> Another movie that I personally think was underrated, Treasure Planet. I loved this movie. It was such like a weird, quirky movie. I just loved all the characters in this movie. They were designed so well and like different. We've got the um, Beauty and the Beast animated one. And a lot of these movies, because I was into like gimmicks and the 3D thing, are imported from the UK because some of them weren't released in 3D in uh, Canada or America. 
So most of my 3D ones are UK imports, which is why they look kind of different than the other ones. We have one of my new favorite, like new era Disney favorites, Moana. This movie and music, oh my god, it is so incredible. How far I'll go is like, I sing that just randomly throughout my day. It's such a beautiful story. We've got another UK import, Frozen. of Little Mermaid. I'm excited to see how they'll make a live-action Little Mermaid. I hope it's good. Okay, I'm gonna say another one of my recent favorites. I think all the new Disney movies are really good. Uh, Tangled, which, if you know me, I actually cosplayed as Flynn Rider for a convention one year in Toronto, and my friend cosplay is Rapunzel. But I, I homemade my cosplay, and it took quite a while, but then I bought a, just a random wig, and it looked so funny. I even hand sewed his like little pouch that he wears on the side. We have the collection of Toy Story 1. Two and three. The three D collector set. And we're on to the last pile. I feel like I had so many more, even though I went through so many. We have the Christopher Robin movie, which I have not seen yet. I actually just received it in the mail randomly. <laughs> True story. <laughs> I think they sent it to me by accident, like the movie club. That's why I emailed them. They're like, just keep it. I'm like, oh, okay. We have Fox and the Hound and the second one. So this diamond here, it's a Disney movie club exclusive. I don't think I've seen the Fox and the Hound movie, actually. They were on Netflix, but I don't think I've seen any of them. We've got A Wrinkle in Time, which I also have not seen. <laughs> we have a collection for Halloween. Uh, it is The Nightmare Before Christmas and Hocus Pocus. And I actually haven't even opened this one yet. It has like a leather feel to it. I kind of like it. We have <laughs> two copies of the Aristocats. Why? I really don't know. I remember my sister used to love the Aristocats. I watched it all the time because she loved it so much. <laughs> and then it looks like the last one I have here, if I am correct, is The Lion King. Looks like that is all I have. Um, I totally scratched my top 10 and I'm giving you my top one, which is Aladdin. Here, I'll give you top like three. It's gonna be Aladdin, 
Atlantis, and Moana. Pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, me going through all these movies I forgot I had as much as I did. I need to go do some research and watch 90% of these. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed though and I hope this relaxed you to some extent. Uh, let me know what your favorite Disney movies are in the comments below and have a great night.